Now to a bizarre case involving federal agents who swarmed a Jacksonville neighborhood yesterday. Our cameras were on the ground. Sky 4 was in the air as the FBI and NCIS raided this home on Salamanca Avenue. That's in San Jose. The I-team has obtained new federal documents showing that the raid was part of a counterintelligence operation that landed four people in custody, including a naval lieutenant who was stationed at NAS Jacksonville. We've learned that Lieutenant Fan Yang and his wife lived here, uh, and they also had a home on a base at NAS Jacks. Yang had top secret clearance with the P-3 Squadron, which is an anti-submarine unit with the Navy. The federal government accuses him of working with two Chinese nationals to get them military equipment, which would be ultimately funneled to the communist government. That included five inflatable boats and engines marked for military use. Yang is also accused of taking Chinese people to a local gun range and selling at least one gun illegally. I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci spoke with a former FBI agent about why this case really concerns her, Vic. And Vic's joining us now from the home. Vic. And Tark, she says that they are going to be very thorough. Investigators spending hours here in this quiet neighborhood combing through this house. It turned a lot of heads from neighbors. That former FBI supervisor says people should be concerned because there could have been a potential breach of national security. An uncommon sight in San Jose as FBI agents combed through this home, laying out potential evidence on tables in the lawn. This coming days after the arrest of Lieutenant Fan Yang, a Chinese-born man who became an officer with the U.S. Navy, garnering top-secret clearance with an NAS Jacksonville P-3 anti-submarine squadron. In the grand scheme here, I'm thinking that the money is greater, the damage is potentially greater, and this you know, this could really be damaging to U.S. national security. Tony Crabbit, a former FBI supervisor who now runs Risk Confidence Group, analyzed this 22-page indictment for us, where federal agents say they believe Yang, his wife, and a Chinese national were all part of a scheme to defraud the U.S. by illegally importing firearms and lying about it. A DOJ affidavit claiming he took $200,000 in payments for firearms tourism, where foreigners from countries without access to these weapons can obtain them. Overall, the biggest concern is the uh, is espionage, espionage being number one, uh, number two being um, bringing others potentially into the country. Uh, under false pretenses. The allegations are complicated and convoluted, but military veteran and attorney Randy Reap says it is clear Yang lied to his superiors about his background and his whereabouts in the scheme. It would seem it's more about a guy with a love for guns until you add in that $200,000. Maybe that's explainable through some family money or something, but uh, as it sits there right now, it looks like... Um, Something that is a couple hundred dollars was generating a couple hundred thousand dollars for them. That's alarming, isn't it? FBI and NCIS agents not commenting about their case, but the I-team found the Yangs and the Chinese national Jio Songtao have all been detained as the investigation continues. A fourth person has also been arrested in connection with the case. If it wasn't nefarious and it was just stupidity and a love for guns, that'll come out pretty quickly. If it was something more serious, um, I think you'll see that develop over time. And both of our analysts, Reap and Kravitz, say this shows the exposure and the potential issues that you could have with so many different countries that want to get that top secret information from the U.S. military. He says uh, they both say, in fact, that the government needs to be extra careful and do a better job with background checks when they are giving out security clearance because uh, this man right here, Lieutenant Yang, had access to some very secretive information on behalf of the government. We're live tonight in San Jose. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.